This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. I am now at the uh, Patterson Historic Museum, right next to America's uh, newest national park, the Great Falls. And uh, I am right now, I am in the uh, Native American uh, exhibit of the Patterson Museum. Here we have a map of our section, northeast of New Jersey, pretty much the tri-state area of the, the tribes languages and tribes that were in this vicinity. Okay. Okay. Muncie dialect. Alright. Maryland. Sus Susquehannock. I guess they were it was named after the Indian tribe. There's a section of the US that this map represents. Alright. Mohawk. Mahican, all right, uh, Pocumtuck in Connecticut, uh, uh, Shotcock, Metapesic would be Southern Connecticut. Uh, here we got, ah, Massapequa. It was actually an Indian tribe, Massapequa, Long Island. I didn't know, see, I'm learning something. Uh, Matoak was the uh, eastern end of Long Island. Fascinating. Okay, now we're going to move along to um, this artifact representing northeastern Indians, indigenous of this area. Okay. <clears throat> Lovely painting. Now we have some, uh, actually, two carved out very, very large canoes. Let me see if I can get a good shot of them from a distance. There they are. Two very large canoes. It's unbelievable how thick and solid and heavy these canoes are. I'll give you an example. The fishnet. All right. There's some spear fishing, Native American spear a spear fishing device. All right, fascinating how they they were so uh, so much so creative. That's such ingenuity. There we have the paddle, a new paddle, with some drawings on it. This is um, some sort of uh, cutting device. And there we go. Beautiful mural. Okay. Native American exhibit. Here's a Native American uh, fish trap made of, of um, sticks tied together. Mannequin of Native American woman. Here we have an arrowhead exhibit. Beautiful. Beautiful arrowhead exhibit. These are genuine, authentic Native American arrowheads. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, now. <clears throat> Here we have some, <clears throat> a hoe, like a rake, different tools, Native American tools. <clears throat> okay, here's an, um, a tool made from a, obviously a deer antler. And it, it shows you what they did with these tools. It's all here, this is a fascinating museum. It, the Historic Museum of Patterson right next to America's newest national park. 
All right. This shows the tools that are on exhibit here. Okay. There's an animal skin stretched out to be dried, tanned. Now we have some exhibit here, a bowl carved out. The stone used in making the uh, cutting device for this, I guess, Native American type of hoe, an axe, as you can see. Now we have a wigwam. Amazing, amazing how these people were able to survive in this. Made out of thick tree bark. It's a hut, thick tree bark, all right? Absolutely amazing how they survive. Okay, now I'm gonna show you inside. If you can see anything, it won't be easy, it's dark, but they actually had a fire pit here with big stones around it. You probably can't see anything because I don't have a flashlight, but that's where the smoke exit the, the, the hut. And it's, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of room in here. It's really large. There's some animal skins as a carpet on the floor. Okay, and that's primarily it. The Native American exhibit here at the Patterson Historic Museum in Patterson, New Jersey, right next to America's newest national park, the Great Falls. Okay, this is the other side of the uh, uh, traditional Northeastern Native American hut made of thick bark. All right, and the lighting is better here. Okay, there's a uh, animal skin as a carpeting, and there seems to be straw or hay. Different implements are here, and that's a mannequin. And there's the uh, the stone uh, fire pit. Okay, where they do the cooking, and there's some uh, some kind of a log tripod to hold the cooking implement, which imagine is clay, I'm not sure. Interesting, so this is the, the side with more visibility. Beautiful Native American uh, exhibit here at the historic Patterson Museum, 2 Market Street, Patterson, New Jersey, right next to America's newest national park, the Great Falls. Okay, there's the front entrance that you saw before, but I had very bad lighting. Okay, right now we have uh, an employee, uh, um, actually one of the assistant managers extraordinaire of uh, the Patterson Historic Museum, Mohammed. Hey, Mohammed, how are you doing this evening? Hi. And he, I just want to show you some behind the scenes work of, uh, of how they put up the displays. And right now, we're still in the Native American section. Okay, and Muhammad is putting up some arrows. He's drilling holes, he's using the leveler. All right. And uh, as you can see, there's Muhammad's work tools. So you're getting it nice and straight. So Muhammad is, uh, actually, when you come to the museum, you might see him say hello, stop and say hello to Muhammad. Come to the Patterson Historic Museum. It is uh, a perfect exhibit of uh, uh, Americana, the Industrial Revolution. And now he's drilling to, uh, to mount these Native American arrows. Okay, there's a beautiful uh, Native American painting. As you could see, and there's Muhammad. But this is a brand new display that you see right now. And he's screwing in. He's putting a screw into the, uh, I guess, uh, plasterboard. Or is it sheetrock? Sheetrock. Sheetrock, yeah. Plaster is really uh, difficult to work with. Beautiful.
Beautiful job. Thank you. And that's Mohammed. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you very much. And uh, like I said, when you come to the okay. historic Patterson Muse Museum and the historic Patterson, come and say hello to Mohammed. Thank you. And the director, uh, Mr. Giacomo Di Stefano. Jack Di Stefano. Jack Di Stefano, who's not here right now, but you will see him also. And uh, the museum is right next to America's newest national park, the Great Falls. And what is the address of the museum? Two Market Street. Two Market Street, Patterson, New Jersey. You got that.